Sarah uh, from the upcoming Sun as me. I love your glittery too. Thank, Thank you. you. It's, uh, Zadig and Voltaire off, uh, off the runway. So there you go. So amazing. <laughs> um, so this is so hotly anticipated this next season. What can fans expect? And, you know, what maybe is different from the last season they've seen? Well, it's a different season because this season we focus on Anthony Bridgerton and his... Um, desire and quest for love. So I think we're going to be able to see another great season of Bridgerton, but with a different Bridgerton at the center of it and with all the other Bridgerton surrounding. So I think there's a lot to love and to be excited about in this season. The same setting, the same wonderful family and a different protagonist who we grew to love in season one. And could you ever have expected this series just to capture people's imaginations like it did and just explode on the scale it did? <laughs> Um, I have to say that when you make a show, and I've made a few, you hope and you wish that people love it as much as you do, but it never ceases to be the most delightful surprise in the world, and this was quite an amazing surprise. It's also the first time in my experience, Bridgerton season one, that I've ever had a show or worked on a show with Shondaland that has actually debuted all over the world at the same time. And that is really something else to experience. So I couldn't be more grateful and excited for audiences to get to see season two. We're really excited about it. And what do you think it is the appeal? It feels like it sort of blows open our traditional idea of a period drama, whether that's the diversity of the cast, you know, always felt kind of stuffy in that respect, very white, um, then the costumes, and then also all these kind of raunchy sex scenes, which we didn't use to see either. What, 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 do you think it's that mix that's really captured people? You know, I think, I think what we've really tried to do is make sure that, despite the fact that this is Regency England, that it's a Regency England that we in this century can both identify with but also escape into. So I think what's wonderful or what I really, really love about the show is that you're, you're involved and engaged in, as you said, this, this, this period of time in which... You know, there are rules and you watch these characters try to find their loves and try to find themselves and break the rules but there's always a little bit of a touch of modernity embedded so that I think even sometimes without knowing it we can relate because we could wear that outfit and we want to live in that house and we actually have danced to that music on several times so I love the combination of, of, of that and I'm just, I, I'm just incredibly excited to be able to share it Finally, because when you're with something for a long time, you just can hardly wait to bring it out to the world and be able to discuss it with people. And also just the scale of it must be insane. I mean, every set, every costume is so meticulously put together, so amazing. So from a production point of view, you know, how is it putting all that together and pulling that off? Oh, it is. We have the most amazing crew and the most amazing department heads, as well as writers and actors. But um, especially during the COVID, I've been amazed and astounded at what these people have accomplished. Um, it's no mean feat, but we have such incredibly skilled, talented people. I think they make it look easy, which is kind of astonishing, given this is a big show. There are lots of people involved, and there are lots of places we go. And the locations are so gorgeous. I think, I think it's really a hats off to everybody who works on it to make it look so effortless. But it is no mean feat, I will say. And what do you hope people take away from watching it? And it feels like, um, you know, it's not just, uh, you know, amazing storylines, but maybe a bit of escapism from everything that's going on in the world right now. And we can just kind of, you know, embed ourselves, sit in front of this for a while, and just be in another place. I think absolutely, and I think so much of it is about, as you said, it's a complicated world in which we're living and have been living, and there's something about watching the journey of somebody discovering their identity, their agency, and hopefully their happily ever after. There's something incredibly satisfying to me about that, and I hope for everyone else too. Amazing. Thank you so much. Enjoy the evening. Nice to meet you. Thanks a lot.